Welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. In our previous video, we took a look and we created a measuring cup and a coffee pot from that measuring cup. We're going to expand on those lessons and create two new items, a spatula and a kitchen spoon. So let's go over here to our project. And before we actually get into creating the spatula, we need to adjust our artboards. Not only do we need to create a new artboard, but we need to expand the size of the artboards. So over here in our artboards panel, which you can find wherever you docked it, or if you don't have it, you can go up to window, artboards, and it will open it up and you can go and drag it and place it wherever you want to. I placed it right here so that I have easy access to it. Currently, you can see that we have two artboards. We have our measuring cup and our coffee pot. And actually, I can go in here and change those around however I want to if I wanted to move those, the artboards around. But we want to go in here and add in a new artboard. I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to call this one spatula. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in a new one. Double click on it and call this one spoon. Next, I'm going to zoom way out to about 25% so that I can see more of my artboards. I'm going to go to File, Document Setup. So you can see here that I'm still under my units millimeters. So we're still using the millimeters. And I can go over that here in a second. But we want to go to Edit Artboards. Here, we can adjust the artboard. So if I click on this coffee pot, you can see that the artboard is 01 coffee pot. I can actually shrink these a little bit. So I'm going to go in here and shrink this one a little bit. I'm going to do the same for the measuring cup. For these, I'm going to shrink this down also, but I'm also going to lengthen it. Probably to that mount right there. So let's do the same thing for this one. Actually, we're going to go this way. I think I just added a new artboard. Yep. So if you need to get rid of an artboard, so right now I accidentally clicked and made a little square. So it made a new artboard. So I'm going to go in here and hit this icon right here in order to delete it. But now we have our little artboards. And now these are a little bit larger. So that way we actually have a lot of room to actually create our spatula and our spoon. So now let's go in here and I'm going to click the zoom. I'm going to zoom in onto my spatula area. Remember that we are still working on um, edit preferences, units. Okay, your general units should be millimeters. Um, and if we go down to um, your grids and guides, which is right underneath units, um, we, ha we have a grid, every grid line every 100 millimeters with a subdivision of 10. Under view, we have, you should see where it says hide grid. 
if you see where if you if it shows up being show grid that means your grid is hidden um, have snap to grid checked smart guides checked um, and that sets you up for where we currently are so to get us started we're going to click on your rectangle and we're going to create a rectangle that is eight units wide and 10 units high. Go ahead and select the direct selection tool. We're going to click on the upper left hand corner, hold down shift, click on the upper right hand corner, and then we're going to click and drag in and bring it in 10 millimeters. So over here we can go and type in 10 and hit enter. Next we're going to take our line tool, which if you have it selected as arc tool, you have your line tool here change the stroke or the fill should be none Whoa. so I'm going to deselect that go into my line tool I want my stroke to be white I want my fill to be none and I want the stroke to be 20 points I'm then going to draw in a line that is six units high. So two, three, four, five, six. Click on stroke and we're going to click on round cap. I need to adjust this so I want this to go down one so that's centered on your spatula. Take your suction tool, hold down Alt, click on your line, hold down Alt, and copy that over to where they are spaced out just like they are here. Because we have this where they snap to the grids it really makes things really easy to line up um, so so now we have the top of the spatula now we need to create our vertical line so we're using line tool again uh, we need to change the stroke back to the black color we're going to leave it at 20 points the the line is going to be 11 units long it's going to be centered and place it at the base of the spatula head next we're going to scroll down we're going to click make a new rectangle we need to make this one point stroke with undo that select deselect one point black fill I want to make a two point a two point um, or two unit wide rectangle that is 10 units deep or 10 units tall we 
we're going to move it to where it is one unit onto the our line. Then you're going to drag in the little widget and round the corners off as much as possible. Next, let's go ahead and drag a box around the entire spatula. Go to object and we'll turn that into a group. After that, I'm going to move this over and center it up onto our artboard. In our next video, we're going to create our spoon which is going to be a similar fashion to what we just did with the spatula. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for our next part of our kitchen icons in Adobe Illustrator.